dude, I... Dude, I can't handle this episode, dude. I can't... Okay, I calmed down, um, this is my first review of Brooklyn New York Academia Season 1, uh, Season 2, and I must say that, that Season 2 has been really good with the hype and action in this arc, because I do not read the manga, and I'm glad that I really don't read the manga, but I will read the manga after this episode, because this episode was one of the best episodes of Brooklyn New York Academia, and one of the best fights in the entire series. I don't know in the manga if they might if they ever adapt whatever God like fight is in the manga then that's then but it's right now like this fight with the amount of build up with the amount of hype and with the amount of motivation and meaning behind this fight this is like this was ten out of like this was the, like oh my god dude. Like, I actually was crying when that final flash happened. Like, I was just in tears. I'm glad I didn't, you know, like react to this episode, because I would have been bawling my ass out on camera and had to upload it to YouTube. Which I kind of just did right now, but, yeah, you know. Well, like, this episode, I like how, you know, it focuses more on Todoriki's character. Because, you know, he's always, like, you know... He's a stoic type of character that, you know, he doesn't want to share his emotions. But, like, with this episode, we get, you know, a full flown, well, full blown, you know, into his backstory and, like, the horrible stuff that, that his dad did to him. Like, if his dad ever has, you know, ever different arc, I will not buy it at all. Like, I don't, like, I don't, I do not like his character. Like, I do not like his dad's character. I, I hate him. Because the only reason that he married a mom, because he wanted a, a, like he wanted a child to surpass All Might, trains him every day. He didn't like Todoriki didn't have, like he didn't even have a normal child at all, like nowhere near normal. And what and what Anjeku said before this, if you know. That's what he's back. My backstory, he could have been a main character. He could have been our main character for this anime. But the things are switched. Look, it's just. I cannot like this character. Well, you know, his dad character. I love uh, the Turkish character. Because the amount of development in this episode alone. With him. Fighting with himself and then fighting with Midoriya and his dad. Trying to fight all this stuff in his life. And then finally he just snaps and then goes into his, you know, he, he gives up and goes, you know, and goes like full power. Like it had a lot of meaning to this. Like this episode had a lot of meaning. In Midoriya's case, you know, he wants to show everybody the, well, he, you know, he wants to show people what he can do by, by fighting and beating Todoriki and probably and himself to the people who support him. Like, people have really strong and good motivations for their character in this fight. And both would become heroes, even though Todoriki kind of forgot and lost his way trying to best just like try to like stab at his dad by like using his ice power. Like, this, like, like, I'm like, did he, like, did Teku, like, he struggled through the entire episode. He used to smash multiple, like, four of us, like, Almost like ten times, breaking like his entire arm, and then still use the smash with his broken arm. Like, dude, that's that's that's, that's 
if, if that's not a hero, I don't know what is. And I cannot, and I cannot imagine the pain that he's in. Even after his loss, and in, you know, in the final episode, that's gonna have, that's gonna be really good if I'm a first character later on in the series. Like that's gonna, like you know, you have to lose. Like you can't win every single battle. And no matter how. You know, no matter how powerful you are, how strategic you are, it was a battle of endurance, and your endurance couldn't stand up to Todoriki because he took way more damage. Like, what amount of damage that he took already, while even being, you know, t t touched, which is in like in, you know, it was unbelievable. And of course, he passed out by the end of the episode because you know that's his full limit. Like, he cannot like do. He's like he's done for the entire tournament like right, right now. And what I must say, Bones, where are you getting this animation budget from, huh? Who is animating who animated that last clash? I want to shake their hand. Cause that was just a beautiful. Beautiful. And even with the placement of the music, like having it be silent for like one scene and then and then this next moment you know, have a blaring. And what truly made that Final Clash scene actually, you know, actually mean a lot. It's when they play You Say Run, which they use for like every single episode, but you know, like, they use it, like, it served a purpose to be at much hype as possible when these two clash. Like, as you can tell, that Bones really did, really does care about this anime. Because if he didn't care, it would have slapped down whatever, like Toei does with, with their anime. And don't even care about it. Toei's a little bit better now. No, way better now. But this, like, too, like, to the animation, and the voice acting, too, like, I gotta give it to both Majority's character and, and uh, Tornarki's voice actresses, like, dude. Or, or actor, like, they were fantastic, fantastic. This was the best episode. Like th this fight surpassed the Nobu versus All Might fight. I cannot imagine how how long it took to animate that entire little clash. Because you know that took a lot of time to do and effort. And, uh, and one more thing, it's gonna be like it's gonna be a development moment for both Todoriki and for Deku. Deku because he lost and he'll grow stronger with this loss and be able to take control his power more. With Todoriki, I want him to actually. Go against his father, see what's on his mind, which will probably happen next episode, and then even after, you know, sometime in the future, talk to his mom, see his mom, because he needs that closure. Like if he wants to, you know, if he wants to, if he wants to become a hero, he needs that closure. He needs to fill that hole in his heart. And I feel like that Deku saved him this episode. He's, he, he saved him from his dad's ambitions. He's, he saved him for, from himself in a sort of way. And he's free to become what he wanted to be. A hero. This is it for this review, guys. I hope you go away, enjoy it. If you did, please like, comment your opinion on this episode, and subscribe for more videos. I cried during this episode, uh, you can probably see it from the intro, but yeah. Uh, we got Attack of Titan and Talk of Super tonight. This is going to be a good Saturday. It's been for this if I like, comment, subscribe, I already said that. And have a good day, and I got to be going to live. <sighs> what is in store for me next? 
Bye.